quite fine by me, and we already have got two Mark II bots in there. Isn't it awesome? I am very, very happy with that. We can now go and grab one, just put it in the middle of nowhere, and get going. Alright everybody, hello and welcome back to another episode on Autonauts with me, Spacefish, and welcome back to our beautiful, beautiful base on this beautiful little planet. In the last episode, we checked off quite a big milestone for us as we finally got everything automated in the production of parts for our bots. Everything is finally flowing in beautifully, we are nicely covered and, uh, well, things are going quite smoothly for us once more. Except for this are uh, not, not quite working right now, so we will very much have to check that out. Uh, but there's a good bunch of things on the list, bunch of old ones, bunch of new ones. We have to, uh, first and foremost, make sure to actually get a bot assembly going here for us in the end. There's also some bots that we do need to, in the end, of reactivate some. Well, we would also, of course, like to go and make some more Mark II bots to thr thrust up our production right here, as we're always quite far behind in terms of all products would. So, uh, you know the list of things to take care of us along, and uh, there is certainly many more that I haven't even touched upon yet, but I'm very much looking forward to taking care of all that and more with you all today. Before we get started though, if you're new around here, if you do happen to enjoy this episode, please make sure to smash that like button right down below, as well as the subscribe button. We're currently very well headed for 1,000 subscribers, and every single person does truly help out a ton. With that out of the way, though, um, I've got another problem in our hands here. Well, first things first, we, we do have uh, cooking technology research, which is beautiful, you know, a lot of things that we can now make. The issue being, though, oh, the issue we will get to in one second. You unlocked a new level of research. I'm loving that. We already have level 4 unlocked. I don't think we've even started a level 3 yet, so that's quite uh, interesting indeed, I do have to say. I mean, beautiful and all, absolutely happy with that. Bench saw, even. Crude metal axe, wow. Metal tools, smelting and metal work. Look at all the cool things that are going to come our way eventually. For the time being, we now have to start at that, and we are going to start at that today, but... I would really like to take care of this for a second. I'm not quite sure how. Because it's... Aha! Okay, so apparently like this I can just recharge them anyways. Cool. Good to know. Uh, that is done. They are happily chugging around again and this little guy kind of ran out of power in the worst spot possible again. But all of these lads are going. Now what I'm kind of intrigued by is why this little guy right here is not working. Ah, no. Can they not take two panels? Let's try something like this. Repeat. Until hands are full, this one can go out of that, right? And then we just see how many he grabs. I think he just grabbed one. Uh, okay, well that's a bummer. Um, we're gonna tell him to come here for a sec. We are gonna go and, uh, well he stopped right, we're gonna go and grab that panel from him and we're gonna throw that out there for the time being so that that guy can at least remove that one bot body of his. Now the thing with this is, we do sort of kind of need to change his coat, and that implies that we do need to make him pick up another, uh, well, the panel a second time in the end, right, and put it there a second time. So that's actually uh, going to be like 1kb over what he can do. In the end, I think we've only given him a basic upgrade, so what we're going to do now is we're going to make him a good upgrade instead, which actually does imply... Which does imply that we're going to quickly upgrade this, I think. Um, in the end, this this is the quicker option for us. Now, what we're going to do here, though, is we're going to go and demolish this, and we're going to put it up in a different spot again, so that it's a bit closer to the overall bot production, and we're going to upgrade this thing out here. So what we're going to need is going to be six 
square frames, apparently. Jesus Christ, that's a lot. At least, no, we're nice and close, so this thing's going to go quite quick. Eight panels, which is also quite insane, to say the least. But we're going to do it, we're going to make it happen. And we're going to need four locks in just a second, and then we can have our very own good pod workbench. Kind of, honestly, a bit annoying, but in the end, I don't really want to interrupt this whole production again and, like, mess up some bot programming, uh, just because I'm too lazy in the end myself to get myself my own workbench. And, you know, the bots are getting ever more complex, so I'm sure we're going to need more of these uh, more advanced workbenches in the near future. So, given that we do have the materials and this all went quite quickly, I suppose we carry on like that. One more log to grab, and then this thing here can be upgraded. And we will be able to go and upgrade that little guy's brain. So let's hop on that. There we go. Flooring required to operate. May have slightly forgotten about that part. Let's go and uh, delete that. I'm going to go and try and Tetris it in here somewhere without, like, disrupting the bot's operation. That works. I think that works, we're going to do it like this for now. I thought that was for me for a second. <laughs> Never mind, I guess I don't get the good things, I would like some uh, more speed on my character and everything. Anyways, what we want is a good bot brain upgrade, which in the end isn't all too expensive. The only uh, real issue with that being that we do need a lot of faults, which we don't have. Another thing that we also really want to get going today is actually, well, not removing all these and putting them over there. Putting them over there. All of them, ideally. But uh, we actually need a recharge bot for this entire production setup too. So, uh, would be good if we can get that going sometime today. In the end, let's go and make these poles here first. So we can go and make that upgrade so that guy uh, works on things. Then... The first thing I think we're going to do is we're going to do the final assembly of the bot, uh, of the bots rather. That way we're going to get more coming in automatically without even having to assemble them ourselves, which makes things a lot more comfortable for us in the end, I would argue. This little guy is like mega confused now, which means that we're having like 15 bajillion poles stack up. In the end, you know, it's, it's going to kind of uh, mean that that guy can very nicely work through things, but we're going to have to reset him in a second. Shouldn't have taken the stuff away from him, I guess. Cool. There goes the upgrade. So, let's take care of this little guy first. I'm gonna go and do that. Cool. And then, uh... Don't want to pick you up. Sorry, buddy. Then we're gonna go get him back and playing again. So, that's cool. Now, on this little guy, we're gonna have to stop him too. But first things first, let's get over there. He's, of course, standing in the darkness where I can't see him. I'm gonna go and interrupt him here. And we're going to first things first go and, uh, well, trade him the upgrade for which we would need the upgrade in our inventory. Now this can go in the backpack, this can go in his head, and now we've got 4KB free. So we're going to program him in just a second. What I want to do first is actually finish this off so he's got like a bit of an empty table in the end, right? Boom. Cool. Done. Now, uh, what we need to do... So we're going to basically need to tell them again to take panel from storage and put it here. And... Remove this, remove that. And all these we're going to have to move very far up there, which is quite annoying. I'm not sure. If anyone knows, can you let me know if you can somehow, like, duplicate commands that you already have in there, or at least kind of determine where you put these into the chain at? That would be very nice to know. Um, but yeah, so, move to panel storage, take, move to workbench, put. Move to pole storage actually needs to be here. Do -do 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 -do. Then we go to panel storage again, we take from panel storage, we move to workbench. And we add to workbench. So this is the same thing, basically repeated twice, just given that he can take more than one in his hands. Then he moves to pole storage, takes, takes, and yeah, okay, cool. So that's all set up then, and he's good to go. And that should now mean that he will uh, very beautifully take care of this stuff for us. Now that one panel, let's put it back before anything messes up here, and also these guys here. 
seem to be a bit out of power. Same as these up here. So let's go and quickly take care of all of these. I really hope that now once we get some... Uh... Really? Why did you not put that one back, mate? Now he's even running through all the berry bushes in his way to ensure that he's running even slower. Sometimes this game really wants to troll me, doesn't it? Let's go and put this back, shall we? And, um, you know, then we will take care of the programming for the automated bot assembly. But yeah, in general, I do very much uh, hope that once we have got a lot more bots rolling off this assembly line, what that means is that we can very, very nicely also get some redundant recharging bots going for ourselves so we don't ever need to do that recharging stuff again. Now, before we actually program this little guy, let us go and take care of another thing. We need to upgrade the research apparatus, for which we need this rough stone block that we grabbed the last time around. We will also require one crude gear, which I thought we were making. I guess we're not. It's very nice and easy to make, though, as far as I remember. You go have some energy. Crude gear. Yeah, just one plank. I think we can do that. Then, on top of that, I would really like to see this. Yes, three poles. Which we're gonna make shouldn't be well actually we don't even need to make them we actually have some now which is even better so let's go and put those out there and then we all go and grab one log and that should be the research station also upgrade which means that we can then to do the tier 3 stuff finally which hopefully means that we can do that table saw thingy which um, should be cool I really hope so now what that was caught with it basic vehicles Aha! Uh -huh. There is vehicles! When in the world did I not see that one? Basic vehicles! Oh! <gasps> Look at this! There's a wheelbarrow! Why is there a catapult right there in that icon? I really want to know why there's a catapult in that icon. <laughs> <laughs> that, that sounds quite funky. There's like a wheelbarrow, a car, to liquid storage. Sounds quite useful to me. I, I had hopes, you know, for, for some stuff that you can actually drive around in, but if you get this, I guess you may get something like that eventually too. I really want to know now. More fun! Oh my god, look at this! Oh, this is a toy horse and carriage. I think that is for the colonists, not for me, unfortunately. We do get the rail track and the car... It's a crane. It's not a catapult, it's a crane, but still quite cool, I would argue. We get a train in general. Steam train even eventually. Oh my god. That is for colonists though, isn't it? Yeah, it's toy rockers. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's just toys. I want a rocket for myself. Come on, game. <laughs> Can even make a castle. Cool. Alright, but yeah, um, let, let's not get too distracted in the end here. What I do want to research for the time being would be the lumber technology. So let's go and try and get that going. Better tree growth sounds quite intriguing to me too. Seedling tray and tree seedlings. Not quite sure how that works, but I'm sure it would be very, very interesting for our forestry down here eventually. Honestly, one way or another does work out quite well for us currently. But um, lumber technology was like 20k. This one right here. We do need a crude axe for that. Which we should be making. Right here. Let's go and grab that. And let's put that in there. And then we can get a researching that. Now that's going to take 20,000 colonists. So it's been going to be a while. But hey, you know. Eventually we will get there. Now let's go over to our little mark 2 here. And we're going to first things first delete everything. We will then go to tell them to... I wonder... No, this does technically not work, right? I mean, it... Kinda... Does it? Nope, it doesn't. <laughs> I would have loved to just stack two on there. But no. So let's go and just make him do this one after another. Honestly, we don't need the craziest frequency from this bot assembly in the end anyways, right? So move to bot head, storage, take, move to bot assembly, unit, add. Then you take one of these, you add one of these, you take one of these, you add one of these. All good to go. That guy is going to pop out of there. You're going to go and, uh, I mean, you can recharge him if you want to, but probably don't need to. 
in the end you can't because you don't have the capacity of your brain. I'm not going to upgrade you, so... Yeah, I mean, in the end it's going to take him... I mean, I'm kind of tempted. But no, we're not going to do that. So, find your spot, discharge, move to bot, recharge bot. We're all going to go and get rid of. You're going to find the nearest spot, move to bot, pick up bot, move to bot storage, add to bot storage. Done. Repeat that all. And we're going to go, oh no, it's not the most efficient code in, in the end, but... Well, I mean, actually, you can't really make anything much more efficient here, so it's quite fine. And you can get going on that, and we'll have some nice amounts of bots flowing in for us here, hopefully. Now, what I don't like is that this head storage is instantly full again. <laughs> Not too happy with that one. I hope that that little guy is going to be a bit slower so I can actually uh, throw another head at this. Come on, hurry up! Oh, so he does need to wait for that bot to be recharged so he actually counts as idle. Why that is not ideal. I'm gonna need to spam this to be quicker than the actual bot now. I was quicker. Wait. What are the other bot? No, I was not quicker. <laughs> I guess we're gonna have a spare bot's head right there forever now. It is what it is. It's fine. Cool. So, you know, this little guy's gonna have to wait, but uh, in the end it is what it is. Uh, honestly, quite fine by me, and we already have got two Mark II bots in there. Isn't it awesome? I am very, very happy with that. We can now go and grab one, just put it in the middle of nowhere, and get going. So, you, little guy, um, we're gonna actually have to wait to program you to recharge some botsies. Unless you search at radius is that. I guess we can just show him like this. Find nearest bot, discharge, move to bot, recharge, basically. That's that's all you need to do, little guy. Oh my god, that is an insane radius right there. I mean, I like it, not gonna lie. <laughs> In the end, honestly, something like this works totally fine. We've got some overlaps, we can even kind of make things overlap down here. Beautiful. Cool. Let's get going like that, I guess. Um, Actually... Gotta get things repeated. And there we go. Cool. Now we've got a little recharge bot taking care of all this area. Which should be awesome. We are gonna instantly go and grab another. And we're gonna do redundant charging up here. Um. Hello? Please, um. Uh, take. Take th thy bot from thy storage. Wow, we've already got eight bodies and seven drives. We're nearly like full on everything here. We've got an infinite flow of bots now. It is absolutely awesome. We finally, finally, finally have achieved that. Which I think is great. Now up here we're actually going to have to wait. Because there's nobody else that I can show the recharging process with. All these guys are good to go. So uh, we're going to wait here. I mean when this guy runs out of power he's instantly going to be recharged. So he's not going to be able to see that. That's fine. Anything else that we currently need help on? I don't think so. Honestly, this is, uh, oh, actually, no, he's being recharged by somebody else. I don't know what this bot is taking care of, but apparently we've got another recharge bot right there. Unfortunate, I ho had hoped that he was out of the area of recharge. Jesus Christ, that pillar, though, that flipping pillar of tree seeds and sticks, it is absolutely ginormous. Ah, <sighs> okay, so, um, with that out of the way... I'm quite happy, honestly. We've got more bots now than we could ever want. Uh, we've got like six ready to go here. We've got one waiting to be programmed right there. Whenever these uh, like uh, assembly lines kind of put holistically out of power, we're gonna go and program a second bot basically so we have got some redundancy going on right there. We'll never need to get back to recharging. That's all gonna be out of the way and we're still gonna have more than enough Mark IIs and no idea what we even wanna do with all those. <laughs> so <laughs> that's great. Because honestly, in the end, we'll have some more complex things and we'll, we would otherwise be very, very sad that we don't have the amount of bots we want. Now all is automated and beautifully scalable, even if we get some new models. So quite, quite happy like that. Now, what I would very much like to look at with you all is what we want to do in terms of future research. We do kind of, in general, have the topic, I think, and we do have this log cabin right here that we've not really built yet, which I guess in the end would end up leveling up the colonists for us once more. 
I do have the slight feeling that a leveled up colonist would develop new needs as well. So that is something to keep in mind. I would maybe like to check that out with you all in a second. So we can have a first look at that. In the end, we need to make sure to keep scaling up that colonist wolf inflow. Because, well, I mean, these researchers, as you can see, I mean, we're already getting to like 200, 400, 500,000 down here. So we're definitely going to need every little bit that we can get in terms of the colonist wolf. Unless we do want to wait for an eternity for things to get done, which... I don't think we do, so definitely something to keep in mind then. I mean, then, you know, you get down to like 5 million and 10 million, and it's going to be insane. There is even art and advanced education. That's just insane. I want to know, like, what can you do with advanced education? I've got no clue in the world. That said, in terms of, like, next research goals, animal breeding, quite cool, I guess. Um... I don't really know if we've got much of any use for any of this yet, to be quite honest with you. I mean, basic vehicles sounds quite good. I, what I would really like is some more upgrades for my own colonist in the end. I'm not sure, you know, like in terms of like a bit of backpack or like... I don't really know what kind of options there would be. Well, maybe we can search through this real quick to see if there is any. I'm not really finding much of anything here. So not in terms of this technology set, and this one we've already kind of went through. In general, I'm not seeing much of anything there either, so I'm not quite sure how that would go. The crude workbench doesn't seem to have any upgrades. You can see here, I mean, it's a crude backpack upgrade and all. Um, we do have stuff like the wood shaping bench, but in general, I don't think there was much of anything right there that would really be beneficial to us either. Now, this little guy right here doesn't have the amount of parts again that he needs, so I can't really look at that. Oh no, we do have this as a good workbench too. Milking cows and stuff. Signs, pitchforks for hay bales, torches and all. Is this nothing that I would really see here that would be any sort of upgrade to ourselves? Which I would really like some more upgrades for ourselves, and we do have some upgrade slots. Now we do also technically have these goals and all. That could potentially end up giving us like some cool upgrades and stuff. So... Maybe we want something along those lines. I've got no clue in the end. What did all this give us? Oh, this here gave us the crude scooter, for example. So it may be that some of the better kind of awards in the end are going to be locked behind these achievements. So maybe we kind of tie with something like that. For example, building a crude cooking pot. I've got no clue if we can do that yet, but it would be cool. Um, you know, all that. We could do a little cereal field. Depending on the colonists we need. For a start, do we have anything that we haven't really built yet? Ah, you know, the colonists could require or something. Um, oopsies. Well, this here would certainly be interesting. Log cabins requiring straw is also a very interesting one. It's a very, very sturdy log cabin, of course. As you can see, it's got a little heart with a three, so I mean, evidently it's going to upgrade the colonists. I think that's what we all expected. I've got the rotary quern right here, which I guess we could uh, make some uh, flour from in the end, which is nice. I'm not seeing any crude cooking pots or whatever that was called. There's a kitchen table right there, which is probably going to be something that we need, an oven and all, a rotary quern, but no, no cooking pots to be seen. Like this, I suppose we can build like proper entire buildings, which I don't really quite know the use of just yet, I have to say. And here we could do stuff like a barn or a plant breeding station, which I've got no clue how those work either. Feed it inanimate items to disintegrate them. Why would I want to do that? I'm not sure. But okay. So. I guess it's like a bin. I don't know. In the end, I think what we wanted to try is building a little, oopsies, uh, building a little log cabin. 
Now the thing is that as you can see that is evidently going to take some more space. Which you don't have that much of, but we could try something like that. Now, in terms of str oh, there's stages. Okay, so it's probably not entirely built from straw. I would very much hope so. <laughs> Otherwise, that would indicate some very grave structural problems. Now, uh, the the question being though, how do we in the end even get straw for ourselves? Which we can surely find out right here, like this. Oh, right, by threshing cereal. So. Should be doable. We've got the hoe right here. We've got a flail even. So we should be able to grab that. Now what I wait, 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 wait. Where am I at? Yeah. Uh, what I do want to do first is kind of just throw this thing out into somewhere there. So that we actually have the two back plaque uh, back plaque backpack slots free for ourselves too. Another thing by the way that I would really love to do is like get myself some chicken and some cows and stuff and I don't know if we do need a barn for that specifically or how that works but I'm sure you will find out. Now first things first, uh, let us go and whack away at some of this cereal right here. I assume we're going to need six units of cereal for six units of straw, we'll see. Maybe we're totally overdoing this now. Uh, we also do have the cereal seeds. Which we should make sure to kind of replant things here a bit as well. Not uh, just harvest everything, then we come back, nothing has regrown. That, in the end, is not going to be all too helpful either. So let's go and remove this. And we'll just go and whack away some of this cereal. And yeah, as you can see, evidently one unit of straw that we get out. Uh, that should be sufficient. We could just leave one of these units around there in the end. I'm gonna go and pick out all the straw here. And I'm gonna go and also quickly replant the rest of this cereal. Cool. Let's go and grab all the straw. Put two units in the backpack. Grab two more. And on we go to get the first stage done on this log cabin then. Still would really love some better upgrades. We need to see about that cooking pot thing and maybe actually doing some of those targets in order to hopefully get some cool rewards. If you know how that works in terms of like the vehicles and how you can maybe get, get some better upgrades for yourself, please let me know down below in the comments. would appreciate that a ton most certainly. Now we do need six logs. Okay, so we have no more logs remaining given that all of these little guys down here actually just ran out of power. So, uh, I think that is something then that we can happily end the episode off on, because uh, in the next episode we will get back with a new Mark II bot in order to get a bit of a redundancy going here in terms of the recharging. Then we are going to move on to finish off that log cabin, upgrade one of our uh, settlers to see, or a colonist, to see how his needs develop based on that, so we can kind of already pre-provision, you know, get the appropriate food and um, luxury items and stuff going for them, whatever I guess they're going to need in the end. And, um, you know, then we're maybe going to get a cereal field going, uh, maybe also going to target some of those goals if they can uh, have some very cool rewards lock behind them, which... You know, please let me know down below in the comments. Would appreciate that a ton. And then we're going to go from there. So um, let's end it off right here for today. I hope you all enjoyed the episode. As usual, if you did, please make sure to smash that like button right down below for the YouTube algorithm. And if you're new around here and haven't done so just yet, also please consider hitting that subscribe button as well as the bell icon right next to it in order to stay up to date on all the future upcoming episodes. But with all those things out of the way then, as usual everybody, thank you so much for watching and I hope I will catch you in the next episode very, very soon. Ciao.